Dear students, welcome again to my class of integral calculus. In this class, again, I will discuss improper integral of type 2. First, let us try to understand the definition. How can we evaluate type 2 improper integrals? First definition, uh, let us say this integral a to b fx dx. This integral is improper. Why? because uh, the integrand fx becomes infinity at its upper limit. For example, like this, you see it is b here and you want to calculate this area from a to b, but at b the integrand becomes infinity at its upper limit. That is why this integral is improper. Now how can we make it proper? you need to consider a finite number let us say finite number k or k1 a to k1 instead of b we are considering a finite number k1 because uh, your integrand fx need to be continuous at k1 so what is the relation between b and k1 k1 is a number which is here which is approximate to b then you can evaluate your area so this k means k1 means limit k1 is approximate to b since you cannot evaluate uh, your fx at b that's why we consider a finite number k1 which is approximate to b this is how uh, you can evaluate these types of improper integral. Now second type, uh, second definition is this, let us say a to b fx dx. Again this integral is improper, why? Let us say your, your, your function is like this and your integrand is infinity at its lower limit. Okay? So now you want to again consider a finite number k2 which is approximate to a. So to make this integral, uh, to make this integral proper, you need to replace a. Why? Because fx becomes infinity at its lower limit b. So if you replace a by k2, then it will be a proper integral and a2 relation between k2 and a is this k2 is approximate to a this is how you can evaluate uh, these types of improper integral now the third one if your integrand is if your integrand becomes infinity in between lower limit and upper limit like this like this let's say your integral becomes infinity at c and you want to calculate this area from a to b but your integral becomes infinity at c so how can you evaluate these types of improper integral you want to calculate area from a to b but fx becomes infinity or discontinuous at c therefore you need to divide this integral into two parts a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx now this one you can uh, evaluate using definition one limit uh, k1 tends to c a to k1 this one is improper why because of c fx becomes un and undefined at c that is why I replace c by k1 and k1 tends to c from left so let me say it again you see this integrand fx becomes infinity at c and c is a finite number which is in between lower limit and upper limit of integration 
therefore you need to divide this integral into two parts from a to c and c to b now this integral is still improper because of c since fx becomes infinity at c so you need to replace this c by k1 and the relation between c and k1 is this k1 tends to c from left you see k1 is this one k1 and k1 is approximate to c from which side from left side therefore i need to use a negative sign here similarly i made a mistake here you are approximating k1 you are approximating this upper limit b by k1 from which side k1 approximate to b from left side so you need to use a negative sign here and in in the second definition k2 is approximate to a from the right side so you need to add a plus sign here k2 tends to a plus it means uh, this is right hand limit k2 is going to approximate to b from right and similarly here for the second integral for the second integral um, c this integral is improper because of lower limit so you need to replace lower limit by k2 and this k2 is approximate to c k2 approximate to c from which side k2 approximate this is k2 k2 approximate to c from right so you need to add a plus sign here these are the definitions by using these definitions we can evaluate any improper integral of type 2 in this lecture i am going to evaluate three examples 1 2 3 and all of them are improper integral of type 2 so let us see how can we evaluate this integral first this integral is improper why because the integrand becomes infinity at its upper limit if you put 1 instead of x then it will be 1 by 0 it becomes infinity so you need to replace 1 by k or k1 let, let me put k 1 by root 1 minus x dx now what is the relation between 1 and k k tends to 1 from which side if it since this is upper limit so k1 k tends to 1 from left since this is upper limit in case of upper limit it will approximate to k from left this equal limit k tends to 1 minus now this integral is proper so how can we evaluate it we know integration of 1 by root x is equal what x to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 plus c this equal x to the power half divided by half plus c which is equal to root x plus c so for this case it will be what 2 root 1 minus x and the derivative of 1 minus x is minus 1 so you need to put a minus sign here 0 to k this equal limit k tends to 1 minus if you put the upper limit it will be minus 2 root 1 minus k then minus and minus um, will be plus 2 root 1 minus 0 minus 2 root 1 minus 1 minus plus 2 root 1 equal to uh, 1 now 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus means what 1 minus means it's a it's a number which is approximate to 1 it, it, it can be like this 0 0.9999 and so on 
is not 1 but approximate to 1. Now the difference 1 minus 1 we can put 0 plus 2 because formally this 1 minus is approximate to 1. So 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore this integral converges to 2. Now let us uh, try to understand example 2. For this case, this integral is improper. Why? Because of lower limit. If you put 1 here, it will be infinity. So we need to replace lower limit by k and limit k tends to 1 from which side? Since this is lower limit, so it will approximate to 1 from right. 1 by 1 minus x dx. And we know integration of 1 by x equal ln x plus c or integration of 1 by 1 minus x dx is equal minus ln 1 minus x plus c. So I can write here limit k tends to 1 plus minus ln absolute value of 1 minus x k to 2. Now let me put the upper limit minus ln 1 minus 2. If you put upper limit it will be 1 minus 2 and absolute value of negative 1. 1 minus 2 means negative 1. It is absolute value 1 minus and this minus will make plus ln 1 minus k. And we know, we know ln 1 equal to 0, so it will be 0. If now I put uh, 1 plus for k, it will be ln absolute value of 1 minus 1 plus. And 1 minus 1 plus, 1 plus means it is a number which is bigger than 1. For example, like this 1.000001, it means 1 plus. So, it is a negative, very small negative number and since we have absolute sign, it will be a positive, very small positive number. And what it means? From the graph of logarithm, we know the graph of logarithm is like this. So, when it is y equal to ln x, this is the graph of ln and when x equal to 1, y or ln 1 equal to 0, this is this number and for a small large number which is approximate to 0, in this case this y becomes negative infinity. So I can put this, the result of this ln will be what? Negative infinity. It means this integral diverges to negative infinity, it has no value. Now let us try to understand example 3, this integral, uh, why improper? Because uh, the limits, the interval of integration is 1 to 4, there is a 2 in between, 1, in between 1 and 4 you have 2 here and at this 2, this integral is infinity, this integrand is infinity. So therefore, you need to divide this integral into two parts from 1 to 2 and 2 to 4. Then this integral is improper because of upper limit. Therefore, you need to replace upper limit by k1. And the relation you need to put here, limit k1 tends to 2. In case of upper limit, it will approximate to uh, 2 from left k1 tends to 2 from left plus y from left because I said before if you approximate uh, here at the upper limit it will be from left and if you approximate from right at the lower limit a then you need to approximate from right so in this case, uh, I need to replace this 2 by, for example, k2. 
and the relation between k2 and 2 is this limit k2 tends to 2 from right. Now how can we integrate this one? You see integration of x minus 2 whole to the power minus 2 by 3 dx this one which is equal x minus 2 minus 2 by 3 plus 1 divided by minus 2 by 3 plus 1 into derivative of x minus 2 which is 1 and this equal 3 x minus 2 whole to the power LCM 3 then 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 plus c which is equal 3 x minus 2 whole to the power 1 third. So I can put this result here limit k1 tends to 2 from left the integration of this is what is this 3 x minus 2 whole to the power 1 third 1 to k1 plus k2 uh, plus limit k2 tends to 2 plus the integration of this part is again this 3 x minus 2 whole to the power 1 third the lower limit k2 and upper limit 4. Now if you put the upper limit it will be limit k1 tends to 2 minus if you put the upper limit first it will be 3 k1 minus 2 whole to the power 1 third minus if you put the lower limit it will be 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 whole to the power 1 third plus limit k2 tends to 2 plus if you put the upper limit it will be 3 4 minus 2 which is 2 to the power 1 by 3 minus 3 into k2 minus 2 whole to the power 1 third. Now let us put the formal value of k1 which is 2. So this part will be 0. If you put 2 here, 2 minus 2 will be 0. So 0 minus 3 into 1 minus 2, minus 1 whole to the power and odd number, this one will be negative 1. Plus, if you put 2 for k2, the second one will be 0. So I have cubic root of 2 minus 0 and this equal 3 plus 3 cubic root of 2. This is the result of this integral which means this integral converges to this value and this is the value of this integral. And that is all in this video. In my next video I will again try to solve some examples of uh, improper integral of type 3. We know the integral which is uh, lower limit or upper limit is infinity as well as the integrand is infinity either at the lower limit or at the upper limit or in between then this is type 2. But there is some integrals which uh, both type 1 and type 2 I, I say this is type 3 improper integrals and I will discuss those types of integrals, some examples of those types of integrals in my next lecture. Thank you very much for your watching.